Hi friends, today we're talking about borrowing. I'll be using base 10 blocks to demonstrate what borrowing is, when to do it, and how to do it. But first, let's review place value. 3,274. That four is in the ones column, which is the furthest to the right. Then we have the tens column. To the left of that is the hundreds column, and to the left of the hundreds column is the thousands column. This three is in the thousands column, so it represents 3,000. This two represents 200. This seven represents seven tens, or 70. And that four just represents four ones, which is four. When we write in expanded form, we put addition symbols in between. Okay, let's talk borrowing. Here's a standard subtraction algorithm on the right. On the left, I'll represent it with base 10 blocks. This five represents 50 because it's in the tens column, so it can also be thought of as five tens. This two is just two. This three is 30 or three tens, so there are three 10 rods over there. And that five is five. Great, time to subtract. We can't take five away from two because five is greater than two, so we need to borrow. Let me explain. Let's borrow 10. We'll head over to the tens column and borrow this 10 rod and bring it over here. I'll do the same thing on the right. Great, now we have 12 take away five, which is seven, and over here, seven. Great, moving on to the tens column. 40 take away 30, or four take away three, which leaves us with one 10 rod, and over here, four take away three is one. So 17 is our difference, or our answer. One more example. This four represents 40, or four tens, so there they are on the left, and that just represents one. This two is 20, or two tens, so there are two 10 rods. And that four is in the ones column, so it just represents four ones. Time to subtract. We can't take four away from one because four is greater than one, so we need to borrow from the tens column. Let's take this 10 rod and bring it over here. Same thing on the right. Good, now we have 11 take away four, which is seven, and over here as well. Now in the tens column, three tens take away two tens which leaves us with one 10 rod. And over here, three take away two is one. 17 is our difference or answer. Let's try a three digit number without the base 10 blocks to see if we remember. We can't take four away from one because it's greater than one, so we need to borrow 10. Good, 11 take away four is seven. Three take away two or 30 take away 20. We're left with one down there and four take away one is three. 317 is our answer. Sometimes you need to borrow twice, like in this example. Four take away five. Five is greater than four, so we need to borrow. Good, 14 take away five is nine. Four take away six, we can't do that. So we have to borrow from the hundreds columns. Let's borrow 100. Good, 140, but in this case, we'll talk about it as 14. 14 take away six is eight. And over here, three take away one is two. 289 is our difference or our answer. I hope this video explained borrowing to you well, and I can't wait to see what subtraction strategies you use. Have a great day.